I love Webflow. It's definitely the best way to build websites. And after building over 100 client sites using Webflow, I've realized that it's missing just one thing. Other site builders like WordPress and Wix have plugins like Yoast that help you with SEO and help you optimize and rank your website. So after years of using Webflow, I decided that it was finally time to build an SEO tool that can do the same thing and work directly in Webflow. So I wanna introduce you to SEMflow. This is something we've been working on for months and months and it's finally ready. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how it works and how it's going to change the way we all build in Webflow. So let's get into it. All right, welcome to SEMflow. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how SEMflow works and together we are going to optimize this website for SEO. Now, much like other extensions that you might be using inside the Webflow Designer, SEMflow is gonna pop up in the same spot over here on the left toolbar. And when you click this, it is immediately going to run an SEO auto on your site and return an SEO score. Now, this SEO score is determined based off of all of the most important SEO and ranking factors that Google and other search engines look for. So this is gonna be a pretty accurate score to show you exactly where your standing is in terms of SEO. Now, the thing that I love about SEMflow is it's all right here and it's color code to show you exactly what you need to work on. So first off, you're gonna see in this column, it has our pages. Currently, we only have two pages in the site. It's a pretty small site, but this is going to show every single page of your website, including CMS pages. You can search for specific pages here at the top, but these are gonna be color coded, either green if every SEO element has been fixed and is in good standing, yellow if you still have some things that you need to update, and red if there are critical errors or too many errors on that page. So let's go ahead and give you an example of how this works. On the home page, you can see that it's yellow, meaning that there are some things that we need to fix. The first thing is page keyword is set. Now this is a really important feature because we wanted to give you the ability to optimize each individual site page based on a specific keyword. So what is going to happen is you're going to type in the main keyword or keyword phrase for your page and you're gonna save that. That's going to be saved into our database. And then a lot of these other elements are going to take this into account. For example, page title contains your keyword and your H1 contains your keyword. And so it's gonna make it really easy to walk you through this whole process. Now, the next thing we have here is page title is set. This is green because the page title has already been typed in. And if you need a reminder of where this happens, this is in your page settings. You can see that the page title is right here. Now, the one thing that we need to take note of is that the page title does not contain our keyword. So remember, our keyword is idle false pest control. So what I'm gonna do is copy this and bring it over to my page settings and plug this into the title tag. So idle falls pest control. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is type the name falls pest services of the company. And we're gonna go ahead and save that. Now, one thing that you're going to notice is when I recrawl this, nothing is going to happen because on a lot of these changes, we're going to need to republish our site so that SEMflow can go and re-audit it. So I'm gonna come up here for this example and I am going to publish this. You can see I'm just publishing it to a temporary domain. Come back here to SEMflow, recrawl, and just like that, the page title now contains the keyword and you can see that I've bumped up a few percentage points on my SEO score. So let's go to the next one. Our H1 is not set, it's red here. So I'm gonna go try to figure this out because I thought we had an H1, but you can see on my homepage that we're actually using an H2 which is definitely not best practice. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna change that to an H1, and then let's come back to our extension. Now H1 contains keyword, we haven't republished this yet, but looking at H1 contains the keyword, remember our keyword is idle false pest control, and our H1 is also idle false pest control, so that one should be good. So what we're gonna go ahead and do again is recrawl, and you're gonna notice that nothing happens because we need to republish our site. So let's republish on our temporary domain. And once that republishes, we can come back over here. And then you can see that this button is recrawl page. If you don't wanna recrawl the entire site, you can just recrawl this specific page. But you can see that our H1 is set and H1 contains keyword have both improved and our scores jumped up to a 66%. So just like that, we're making some pretty good progress. 
All right, so next is our meta description. Our meta description is set and our meta description contains our keyword. So let's make sure that we grab our keyword here and let's go check out our meta description. Remember, this is also in our page settings and you can see that we have no meta description. So for this example, let's make sure we have our keyword in here and then let's just say the best idle false pest control company out there just for this example now of course you're going to want to create a better meta description that is very clickable and appealing to people but it also is going to be nice to make sure we have our keyword in here so i'm going to go ahead and save this we should have our keyword and our meta set so let's go ahead and publish and then we'll come back here and check this. Now, the idea of this is we don't want you to necessarily have to republish every time you make updates. You can make several updates and then you can publish all at once. But for the sake of this example, I do wanna show you how the progress and the progression of this works. So you can see that we've bumped up our score to a 75%. Our meta description is set. Meta description also contains a keyword. But we're getting a notification here that says our meta description is too short. It should be about 160 characters you can see here in the learn more it says this optimization helps to avoid the truncation of meta description meaning that it cuts it off and it says that the best meta descriptions are between 120 and 160 characters so what we're going to do is just for the sake of this example let's come back here our meta description is currently 52 characters so let's just say we duplicate this that's going to give us what 104 and then let's just say, call us now to get a free quote. All right, so now we have a description that is enough characters. Let's save that, republish. And what it should do is tell us the exact number of characters and tell us if we're falling in the ballpark of best practices. Perfect. And just like that, our meta description length is 138 out of 160 characters. And we're starting to see green here over on our SEO score. And because we have completed all of the SEO elements within this specific page, our homepage has turned to green. So let's go ahead and do just a couple more because I would really love to see this SEO score get up in the 80s, if not the 90%. So what we're looking at here is the page keyword is set. We don't have one. And so looking at this page, and let's go take a look. It is our services page and it's just pest services. So we might wanna do a little bit of keyword research and find a better keyword than this. I'm guessing Idaho Falls pest services is probably going to be our best keyword. And so let's go ahead and plug this in. Let's come over to SEMflow and save our keyword. And what you'll notice with the keyword, you actually don't have to republish your site in order for SEMflow to take note that you have saved this keyword. Okay, so let's do two more. Page title contains keyword. We've got a red there and H1 contains keyword. So let's go over here and check out what is going on. So if I click out to our page title contains keyword, let's take a look. So it is a different keyword. So what we're going to do is paste this in Idle Falls Pest Services. Let's go ahead and save that. And it's looking to me like our H1 already has our keyword. So I think we just need to publish. So let's go ahead and publish this to our temporary domain. And of course, this is gonna work on your custom domain as well. But for this example, we just have a temporary. So once that's published, let's get back over here. Let's recrawl the site. And it looks like we are getting very, very close. Boom, 95%. And a few things that we just still need to do are our meta description contains keyword. And then making sure that our page contains the keyword as well. So this is going to be a really, really awesome way for you to walk through every single website that you build and make sure that it is optimized for SEO. Now, the thing that I'm really excited about with SEMflow is most other tools that do this are, number one, they're a lot more expensive, and number two, none of them work inside of Webflow, which means you're gonna have to do a lot of back and forth, rerunning audits. It's gonna be a nightmare for you. And so this tool is going to be awesome for you, whether you're a business owner and just have one site, it's going to be especially awesome for you if you're a freelancer and you have multiple client sites because not only are you going to be handing off sites that are completely optimized and in perfect standing with Google and other search engines, 
But also, this is something that you can charge for. You can charge additional rates for on-page optimization. And when it comes to all websites, but particularly extra large websites, you could potentially charge hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for this optimization. So this is V1 of SEMflow, and it is something I'm incredibly proud of, and I'm so excited for you all to get in and try it out. We have so many awesome features coming down the pipeline. We're gonna be constantly working on this. In fact, I've got an entire team dedicated to this, and our plan is, as of right now, it's 15 bucks a month. It's super cheap, it's the price of lunch, and you have unlimited audits. You can use this on unlimited sites. As our features grow, we're probably going to have different pro options. We also might look into bumping up the price as we bring more value to this tool. But with that said, if you get in right now, it's month to month, and if you start at 15 bucks a month, you're gonna get it for 15 bucks a month forever. So if you have any questions, ideas, anything that you wanna to talk to me about, drop it down in the comments, DM me. I'm so excited about this tool. I'm so excited about the support we've already received from the Webflow community, and I truly think this is going to be an absolute game changer for the Webflow world. So if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, share this with your friends, other Webflow designers, and let's start changing the game. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.